day six, I believe. We are lining up just to leave the campsite. All good? Hello. Heading for the mountains. Yes, Hello. Why do you, why is it when you speak to someone who speaks a different language instead of an accent? Here he is. Morning. You good? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. This is Kevin <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't stand there. Uh, it's been over. So the mighty 4.2 NA. 1HZ. Yeah, looking forward to hearing it in the mountains. <laughs> So. Off the wall, so. Yeah, <laughs> right. Let's go. Just pulled over for a bit of a pit stop. Supermarket there. Okay, from the back for out. This is and uh, nice little cafe. So, road's starting to get a bit rough. Just airing down now. Been at 40 psi the whole way, um, just for fuel economy. But we're going to go down to about 30 or that and uh, hopefully just take a little bit of the uh, roughness out of it it's all like washboard stuff around here so um, it's far too firm there we go guys look at the snow up there So we're nearing the top now, you can see the winds. Um, it's getting real, visibility is getting real, real uh, problematic now. Um, huge winds out there. Um, but we're just about at the top, hence why, you know, the winds are like this. I can't see the shop up there. With some sort of handmade tagines, there's another shop in there. It can't be open or even functioning. Um, but yeah, visibility is a real, real issue now. Like, you've even got these wild mountain dogs as well, which they are beautiful dogs. The local Moroccans are taking selfies. And, uh, I just want to take them home. This is beautiful. They drive like crazy though. Um, but yeah, the landscape here is just insane. Um, Kevin that was actually just telling me, I thought this would be snow anyway this time of year just because of the mountains, but apparently this is a first for him. Um, and it's every sort of, well, he said it was about every six years um, they might get some snow, but he said he's never ever seen it this bad. He said it's never usually on the roads. Um, but uh, yeah, so this actually isn't normal. Um, so Atlas Mountains in the snow, here you go. Um, look at this. So we just stopped in a little village at the top of um, the mountains. 
um, just to get something to eat. Um, so yeah, I'll show you a bit of this in a minute. Just see the mountains in the background up there. Um, but we're all parked, parked up. Um, going to a little restaurant um, and have uh, a tagine. So just getting a jumper because where we're sitting is, look at all these Renaults. Man, I didn't know this many Renault 4s still existed. Look at them all. Mark 1 Transit coming up the road as well. Well, it's probably not a Mark 1. Don't know. Not very good with that. But yeah, so we've stopped here, which is sort of a butcher's slash restaurant. Um, so it's a, it's a tiny little town up in the mountains. And um, yeah, we're going to have, have some food. They've got them all ready on the go. Oh. Oh. All good? No, my back is soaking wet. <laughs> when I got out the car, put air down, and I'm still wet. It so was I'm worth it though. It was worth oh, it. Man. So you can see this is a butcher's, you can buy yeah, let's see whatever that. they that's are. That's not a dog, that is a goat. That's not a dog. That's a goat. But the tail, look at the tail. Look at the tail. But the tail on the other one was look much it. longer. No, 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 it's got hair on it. If you take the hair off the tail, it will stick out. I reckon it was a dog. I still reckon it was a dog. I reckon it was a dog that misbehaved. Never, 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 never. Ever, oh, I don't know. Never, don't ever, know. ever. And if you sit down to a Moroccan, it would probably bury you. <laughs> well, hopefully no Moroccans watch this video then. The <laughs> Ah. scares me because it's got bits in. I don't drink bits. Right, so ordering a tagine, but it's just told me. None, no goat. No goat, wait, wait. Oh, okay. They have goat. Oh, Sorry, wow. come in. You can show you. So these are, wow. And these are goats. You need the small or the goats? Small or large? Small. Man. Small? Small. Uh, my hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Half. Uh, yeah. Big. The big. Yeah. Big. 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 No shovel. Oh, wow. No shovel? Come here. Small. Small one. Please be good. Can you throw the white your eye? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. So you just need to tell this guy which one you want or this guy, actually. Which one do you want? I'll have a medium sized goat one. Medium? Yeah. Goat. Goat? Yeah. When? One. Uh, I'll check with the others. See? Yeah. So, for those of you who haven't had goat curry, it is amazing. But um, goat tagine, it's a bit of a delicacy here. So, see how it goes. Some people won't eat it, but I will. Like cumin and. So, that's supposed to be. A mixed sandwich, right? Not yet, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's yet. That's a Berber omelette. Oh, here we go. And here we go. This is mine. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. wow. This is my goat tagine, fresh olives, potatoes. Um, yeah, you've got to make the sandwich yourself. I'm assuming we're all waiting for bread, yeah. Basically. You make the sandwich yourself. I mean, it looks very good. 
I mean, I would eat that as a meal. It's just chicken, veg, and chips, isn't it? Well, it Curtis should, is it, already going. It should be no. It should be more than that. To be honest with you, and it looks like it is just fucking chicken. <laughs> Easy. Oh, spoke too soon. Put your front locker on. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Told you it looks worse than on camera. You got a bit of more speed. It's so soft, it's sand. There we go. So look how beautiful this backdrop is. It's like a computer wallpaper. That rock formation, it just goes all the way along, along the top. They're trying to sell us some souvenirs. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's just beautiful. So that's the road we've just come up. How stunning is that? And unfortunately, right when I got to the bottom of it, my camera ran out of memory. Right, so this this is um, the gorge which we're going through. Now check this out. Look how cool it is in there. So this is actually a hotel, believe it or not, and it's beautiful. All this patio, outdoor, restaurant. Um, there's actually no one here. We're the only ones here, but we are camping. So they have a campsite, but look where we are. 
So we've just come through the gorge. Absolutely no phone signal here. Mountains at the back over there as well. I have to say it's beautiful, but it's freezing, but we'll be fine. But look how stunning it is. Very small, but very, very pretty. But that is insane. So it's currently half past seven. It's just starting to get dark. So I'm going to set up and uh, get something off to cook. So Curtis's head's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> just been roped into another experience. What's this called? A shesh. A shesh. A shesh kebab. <laughs> this is, is this different to a turban? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have to sleep with this on now. And then it's green because of Islam, right? Yeah, this is, yeah, it's green because of Islam. And so it's uh, traditional, this is actually, traditional. This is actually from Mauritania. This is not uh, from uh, Morocco. Yeah. What else do you do at camp when you're not cooking? <laughs> Curtis, you weirdly look like um, an Indian doctor I once had now because of the beard. It suits you and you've gone brown already. You. <laughs> oh yes, this is so Paris Dakar. Round the beard. This is good for you when you're cooking so you don't get any beard hair in your food. Uh yes. I think it's in that drawer. Oh my god, you're Paris Dakar. <laughs> We're gonna have to, I want one. We well, can get a blue one from Morocco. Yeah, I've kind of done it a little bit wrong here, but sorry, it's a bit windy and a bit dark. You get the gist. Yeah, you He's like one of those Turkish barbers that just absolutely it. abuse Sweet your head. You can leave it like that. Oh yeah, that's good. Like yeah, that. I bet it is. And then you just sort of tuck it in. And then you're kind of a neck warmer now. Take it off if you like. No, he don't want to take that off. It is getting windy. Look at my tent. I like it. I can't really do it in this dark. No, it's, I think it's great. Okay, it suits you. I like it. Do you want me to take a picture for your mum? No, I think not. <laughs> well, he looks like a jihadist. Yeah, he does, literally. <laughs> yeah, he's a real does it. <laughs> well, you should have chucked them in with the chicken because they take about the same time. So chuck them in now. 100%. Even though there's juices and shit in there. Yes, the juices will help soften them up. windy but luckily exactly where the fire is is not too bad so I'm currently cooking made a chicken tikka masala hello I look grey hello so day seven waking up to this in the gorge mountains in the background beautiful we've actually nearly packed up um 
it's freezing. It's so cold. In fact, Heike just tried to uh, put some water on to wipe the solar panel on top of their tree pee and put the water on and it froze straight away. Uh, I left my fridge off all night and it didn't drop temperatures. And that was inside my car. So it's very cold, but it's beautiful. This place is beautiful. It's a little castle. Um, but yeah, so uh, we are heading back the way we came briefly, which is cool because it means we go down that cool road, like the perfect road. Um, we were going to be going up the mountains, um, but since we've just been reported of a lot of snow and because of the temperature as well, weirdly it's warmer than normal. Um, it's melting, so there's a lot of ice, um, and it's 3,000 metres up um, on a gravel road, so it's not, you know, like salted or whatever. So yeah, we're, um, we're on a slightly different route, but we're going to head to the desert now, um, which would be cool. So, truck looks sick. Um, so yeah, just got to pack up. And then I need to go and get some more cash out because I've been going through cash like mad here because everything's cash. You've got to pay fuel, hotels, the lot. Um, so I've got to try and find another cash point. Um, had an electric hookup. You can see my heater hanging in there. That was a godsend. I've got an electric fan heater. Um, definitely wouldn't recommend doing this trip, ideally without a leisure battery because... I didn't get a chance, my fridge is inconsistent and staying in the mountains is so windy and so cold um, even though it's 25 to 30 degrees down there um, it's not here so but anyway um, we've got some logs, we're going to have a fire in the desert tonight um, and make our way over there hopefully I will sort the memory on my phone last night but can't guarantee it. I've deleted 5,000 photos and 600 videos or something, but I don't know. It, hasn't, it doesn't look like it's made much of a difference, but I'm struggling with this already, so fingers crossed. So we came through here last night, arriving to camp, and it is beautiful. So it's road and river. Very narrow. We won't be able to get a, uh, a big lorry through it because you'll just hit the rock. And then the open river there. Apparently, that's the highest they've seen it in a long time. Again, another reason why we're not going up the mountain, just because um, although there's a lot of snow, and obviously because of that, with the temperature, it's melting so fast and it's giving them so much water. So. Crazy. Look at this. I mean, this is a stunning, stunning park. I don't know where we are. I mean, that sign said Voo de Arsehole. So, maybe we're in an arsehole. I mean, it's the nicest arsehole I've seen. But yeah, I mean, look, you've been, if you've been following this, you've seen the villages and towns that we've been through. This is lovely, like, absolutely stunning. This is all still being built. Got the mosque there. Mountains in the background, see how much snow's up there. So it looks deceiving, but it is still fairly cold. That's why when you'll see people in this video as I come past them, look how many indicators he's got on that. They just find as many lights as possible on these trucks. Uh, yeah, when you see people in the video and stuff, they um, tend to be, oh, the so speed cameras are out. They, um, pull in behind, let the traffic go, just pull in behind. I never know if, 
you're allowed to be on your phone here or not. Like, everyone does it, and then... Kevin said, right. Kevin said it's fine. Um, but I, <laughs> I think it's just habit. You see police officer and it's like... No, sorry, it's not habit, because I don't use my phone when driving. Even at home, but yeah. It's, de it's obviously force of habit when you see police and you put your phone down, so... Um, but yeah, there's lots and lots of speed checks through these villages. Um, I mean, obviously it's a way to generate money, but they find you on the spot here. Um, so it's not like it comes through the post or whatever. So there'll be one or two officers standing with a gun and then either they'll um, step out in front of you and stop you or 100 yards up the road, there'll be an, another police officer in a car and uh, they'll sort of radio up to him and he'll block the road and they give you a fine. Um, I remember Jack saying last time he came to Morocco he got a couple of speeding fines and uh, the way they, they find you on the spot, you've got to pay cash. Obviously it seems a bit dodgy, it's like the police officer's having a backhander but it's not. It, it got, he's still got a speeding fine which is beautifully handwritten, um, you know, and not that he can read it. but. Um, it's, 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 it's absolutely legit, but a speeding fine here um, is, is like 20 quid. So um, it's not the end of the world if you get caught speeding, you know. It's not like the UK where you get three points and a hundred pound fine. Not that I know that, because I definitely don't speed at home. But, um, but yeah, so there's no, there's no cameras, it's, it's as such. It's, it's physical police officers standing there with a radar but uh there's plenty of them so anyway we need to get to this desert um and we've got a little surprise when we get there it's actually a sort of a more of a surprise for Maud um that Jack said she wanted to do um but we'll probably all have a go um but yeah, so it's not too long of a day driving today. Um, uh, we've done 56 miles today so far. Um, we're probably doing not much more than 100 miles. Um, actually, it might be a little bit more, but yeah, not not loads. Um, shorter day today because we've we've kind of missed out a little bit, but we're gaining extra just a different route. So. Um, but yeah, you're about to see some stunning views now, so I'm going to grab the camera and show you because, yeah, holy shit, you can see over all those villages we've just driven through. It's really coming back this day, guys, it's really coming back down this road. But the slow open now, really. So, not actually sure we're allowed to do this, but we had to, so this gorge is stunning. So we've come and parked in the river because we own Land Rovers. Land Rover owners can go wherever they want, but just let me turn the camera around actually, you'll get a better view. It's just breathtaking. I was about that though. Huh? You can't get it all in. Yeah, photos just don't seem to do this justice. It really, really doesn't. Because like Curtis just said, you just can't get the whole picture in. This is where I'm playing hopscotch. Probably going to fall over. Curtis's creative photography skills. Oof. Didn't even fall over. No, not once. No, not yet. Yeah, yeah. What well, if I go on the wide angle? That looks a bit better. What a mega, mega place. Curtis being very creative. <laughs> I love it. He's in his element. He is. Well, we all are, to be fair. But look at that. Right, so... I've been a tourist and I bought something. Um, now this is 
a uh, desert compass. So north, south, east and west, you put a stick in it. Um, I haven't just been missold that, as far as I'm aware, by the guy selling it. This is what Kevin told me, because he came up to me and I was like, oh, I quite like that. And I didn't have a clue what it was. Um, but apparently you put a stick in it and that's what it says. <clears throat> don't have a clue. It's handmade out of like a nickel. It's not silver. Um, it's a bit crap, but to be honest, I'm not going to wear it. I know it's a necklace. My head's too big. Um, yeah, it doesn't really suit me. Um, but I've wanted something sort of meaningful <clears throat> to put around my rear view mirror. So um, that will always remind me when I fell into a tourist trap in the Moroccan Gorge. Um, there we go. Yeah, see? Look at this swing into view. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> it cost me three pounds. So at least it's not the end of the world. Um, whether I got mugged off or not. <clears throat> also gave me some tea. It's so rank. It's like people at home that drink this Earl Grey and flipping bush whatever. And I can't remember what else. There's some weird shit around. People like drink them to like lose weight, which is probably why <clears throat> I should drink them. But they got bits in as well. Now, I know it sounds really childish, but like my hair, but I can go in the poshest restaurant in the world, like Michelin star, no joke. And if I order an orange juice, I can only drink it if it's not got bits in, because it's disgusting. So you can keep your fresh orange juices, you can keep your <coughs> tea with bits in, that smells a bit like urine, because it's not for me. But it's rude over here if you don't take it. So it's like, oh yeah, thanks very much. Mm. Oh, did you brew that first thing this morning? Yeah, so it's not for me. Everyone else loves it. I'm the only one in the group that doesn't. And every single time I have to take it and then try and hopefully get someone else to drink it. So, anyway. Um, we're sat in the gorge at the moment and I think everyone else is falling into tourist traps and buying souvenirs. So you've got to at some point. <coughs> but, yes, beautiful. Bit cold actually, unless you're in the sun. But um, yeah, very, very, very beautiful. But uh, yeah, I I will update you as soon as we move. So I think Curtis is actually you. It actually suits you. Like you look good. Very Yeah, that's true. Very You look good. I think we need a photo of you in your car. I bet you're warm. I'll take my jumper off, so. Yeah, I bet it's comfy. It's, it suits you. It does suit you. <laughs> That's just, if I put one of them on, I'd look like a lemon. But. Yeah, I'm a bit like that. Yeah. I you just. Know I mean? When I'm in Africa, <coughs> I get uh, people make these Afri very loud African shirts for me. Yeah. And when I'm in Africa, it's absolutely brilliant. Well, yeah, that's it. If I wore one of them and here, it's I'm normal. I'm shopping in Tesco, so I look like a complete twat. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the town. I think you should. <laughs> that looks great. It looks really good. Have you got a head thing? No. Why not? <laughs> what was the thing? I'm sure it, it's got a shish. A shish? A shish. shish? No, 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 no. I'm sure he'd give him one as, as, as maybe a kettle. Awesome. You want a shish? Yeah. For him? Yes. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, it's a good one. I don't know. It's just black. Oh, it's got a bit of. Uh, got a bit of mm, Cut that bit off.
This one. This one. This is better. <coughs> These are very cool. And because he's brought that. Look, he'll put this on you in 20 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, not like me trying to do it no. in the dark. A twist. Yes. Oh, Jack's struggling with my rear view mirror as well. Oh, Maud's <laughs> bought one. Well, Jack bought it as a present. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Perfect. <laughs> you look Paris Dakar. Come on, come here. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're Paris Dakar. <laughs> No, I just pulled it off, and now I can't put it back on. I thought it was a local guy hanging around trying to sell something. <laughs> literally. I know. It suits him so much. Are you struggling as much as I was? I literally just pulled it, that was it. I mean, it's not like I really need it, but... If anyone's going to get it back on, it's going to be you. You look great. There we go, his best customer all day. <laughs> yes, this is it. It's a man who's proud of his customers. Curtis is being loved by the locals now, look, because basically you are allowed to drive in the river. So <laughs> he's making the most of it. Look at him. He's like a pig in shit. Some big rocks there, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are loving it. <laughs> oh, he's got his hazards on and everything. Everyone, look at him. <laughs> I hope he just doesn't get to like a big hole. Look, they're all recording, look. <laughs> he loves he loves that. He looks so funny in that coat and stuff. Oh, out of low range, there we go. Nice bit of smoke and we're off. The whole video I've been going, I couldn't even tell you where we are, okay, apart from uh, Morocco. This is famous literally for all the fossils, all, all the beach. prehistoric finds, Tulo beads, yeah. everything else, which yeah. you can video later. Yeah. So all over Morocco they sell fossils, but basically it comes from the other side of those hills there. Right. And Because um, you're saying there's legit ones and then there's Chinese fossils. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. There's Chinese ones, which, uh, yeah, I think Jack's got one. Yeah. So yeah, you've got Chinese fossils. Everyone's got to have one. 
He will show you inside the shop. He'll show you a legit one and he'll yeah. show you a, a copy from China. Let's see if you can notice the difference on camera. <laughs> it's not the difference. Oh, Kurt, it's taking your dress off. Oh, too hot. So we've stopped for some lunch. This, believe it or not, is an omelette. It's called a Berber omelette, which is like tomatoes, there's peas, olives, bubbling away, some fresh bread. And these are cut by hand. These are chips, obviously. Oh, and they're very good. <laughs> and you're going for a chip sandwich. Well, to be honest with you, I'm going for a chip sandwich, but pure and simply, mm. because chips in Morocco are normally not very good. There's only two places I eat chips. Right. That's here and somewhere else. Right. So, chip they're sandwich. They're very good. Chip sandwich yes. and tomato ketchup for me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and Jack's just having some hot mouthwash. I am, yes. Yeah. Really nice. Yep. Really, really good. Second glass of mint tea. Not my thing. George doesn't like it, but... You know, Cheers. Uh, like a bit Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of this tea. I don't like tea at home. More just sunbathing. She's she's in her she's element. Good. She's good. Uh, Curtis is Curtis is gone for it. I'm going for it. Also, if you drink tea, like we go down the pub, yeah. and we have a beer, and we go cheers, yeah. or bottoms up. Yeah. What you say is you say bisa ha, a bisa ha ha, bisa ha ha, bisa ha ha. There you go. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. I'll toast you my omelette. <laughs> Right, so, lunch done. Didn't need it, but still had it. First try of a Berber omelette. Um, so it's like an omelette with onions, peppers, tomatoes. Uh, it was good. So here we are lined up, just about to leave. Um, cost of that was uh, 130 dira, which was a Berber omelette. Um, a portion of chips and one coke in a glass bottle so it was about 11 quid so it's not that much cheaper than the UK if you think about it an omelette and chips in a cafe if anything it's probably about the same price um, considering we're out in the middle of nowhere but um, yeah. Hold on a second, I'm just going to grab a cold can out of the fridge. Does anyone want one? Um, all good, thanks. Um, yeah, no, so not, not actually that much cheaper when you think about it. And we're out in the middle of nowhere as well, so don't know. Didn't look at the menu, didn't see prices first, so maybe you just shafted us. Who knows? Anyway, we need to get to the desert. Got a about 100 kilometers from here, I think. I don't know. I just follow that big orange Toyota. So we've just lined up. It's going to be TDV6 versus 300 TDI versus V8. Okay. Oh, Curtis, are you not participating in the drag race then? <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Comment down Ready? below. Get ready. Go. Oh, if Jack doesn't win this, I'll be disappointed. Of course, of course. <laughs> I'm impressed how far, how close I was. I'm impressed. Right, we need to stop playing and go and find the proper sand. <laughs> this has been fun. 
Mutta we've done our bit. Let's go. Back to the road. So there we are in the distance. They are massive sand dunes. They're not mountains. They are the sand dunes of Irk Chebi. So that's where we're going. This is where the desert starts. I can't wait. I don't have any money. No. I, I, no. What's pal? Oh, yeah, but I don't have any money. I only got bank card, credit card. That's how we travel. All right, we're just coming into the campsite now. Cromwell Cafe looks like a palace or a prison. Um, but yes, this is the campsite. It's got the best access. Yeah, no, I've never been in this bit here, but hey, ho. So, um, the yeah, yeah, look, look at it, just literally the other side. So, that's why we're staying here, it's the convenience. I mean, you might as well be in the desert to be honest, but they've got electric hookup and stuff here. Uh, I'll have a tap. Where are we? Some cool. Like Iveco truck there or something. Just finding out where Kevin wants to park. Looks like the campsite owner's coming out. It's a different kind of sand here, guys. Way different. Let alone the colour of it. So we're just airing down. <laughs> Um, we decided where we camped. I've gone down to 20 psi. Um, so Jack's got a taller tire than me, he's gone to 15. Uh, but where these are only a 26560 and the weight of it, I don't want to go too much. But we are camping over by that tree. You can see Maud standing there. There's a few tracks there, that is very, very soft sand start of it so um we're essentially gonna wild camp tonight this is the campsite here but you can camp wherever so we've decided to go over there um and then we hit the dunes in the morning but let's see how the old discoveries get on um fingers crossed curtis will be fine you'll go down to like 10 psi on 35s and have the biggest tread pattern ever but he hasn't got the power this is the kiddie that's what you want in the desert petrol you look in dubai you know anywhere desert desert and sand you want ideally petrol you want that high-end rev power torque is no good torque's no good in the desert so that's that's going to be the one to perform I reckon but we'll see so Curtis is just in rock crawl mode and he genuinely thinks that you can just crawl up sand he hasn't quite got the concept yet it's all about speed okay third attempt still no <laughs> Curtis you need way more speed than that go back Keep going back. Keep going back. Keep going. Right, now from there. Third gear. Go on, floor it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, so 
so close. <laughs> Do that again, but quicker. This is his first time in the sand, so it's learning experience for sure. Yeah, but that, that's not just sand. No. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. He had to get out of rock crawl mode. Listen. Go on, Ed, go on. That's it. Yay! Oh no, don't stop there. <laughs> right, now the thing is, first time on sand, you don't normally do that. No. Sand. You start something about this bit. Yeah. Then you work up to that. But this is Curtis. Exactly. This is Curtis. Yeah. Right. So this is where we're camping. Nice bit of hard standing here. So. Oh. Here we go. First clear. No tabs. No brakes. Keep the wheel straight. Keep it straight. 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 It's way steeper than it looks. Yeah, we, we've got to get him out of pay and play mode. You should do, mate. <laughs> I'm taking no responsibility for any of this. <laughs> responsibility has now gone to George. Yeah, that's... It ceases to be me, and it's now George. I'll teach you. If you're encouraging him, <laughs> and he rolls it, that's you. You're having a laugh. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. I'll tell you what, that was a good effort. Effort? I've never seen anyone arrive here, <laughs> never done this before, and then do that. <laughs> yeah, because but... as far as I'm concerned, like I say, George. Oh, he's stuck now. This is your responsibility because I've never seen, not once have I seen. What I've seen is something about not even a quarter of the size of that. <laughs> yeah, and the guys get stuck. Yeah. Curtis! Hold on, <laughs> let's go up there and sort him out. <laughs> you can't go full up right and crawl forwards, can you? Well, okay, stop. <sighs> Trouble is you're burying. Right, okay, it's well, just very, very gently, full lock left and reverse. Very gently. Well, so it, no, you go in sideways. Stop. Stop. We might have to winch you up. Because this isn't, this isn't, this isn't terrain you're familiar with. And that is not safe. So, that's the angle he's at. As you can see. Fuck's sake, Curtis. Jesus. Right. You've got your winch. Right, I'm going to have to go and anchor him. See, it's just not safe. I mean, it's cool for a photo, for sure. But it's about to fucking roll. So... He's super impressed with himself. Yeah, I wouldn't want to reverse down that at all. So I'm going to come and anchor him over here. And he'll have to winch. And he can come straight down there. So, guys, come back. Come back. <laughs> right. Yes. It's good. There we go. So.
it, it will be. Soon as, have you got, have you got, hold on, just, yeah, can you, where's your, is your, let me use this, right, just keep, keep that and, okay, it's drive it, drive it, yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, drive it, go on, go on, go on, it is, it's moving. You gotta get some spin up. Yeah, go on. That's it. Keep, um, keep winching. Keep winching. It will be. But he just needs to get the front over the top. What the dip? The, that's the dip. From here, yeah. That's it. You just need to get some drive up. Just do it on the wind. There we go. Just slowly. Hold on. Yeah, go on, you're all right. Go on. Go on, you're fine. Just just leave it on the wind. Keep going. Bit more. Right, that's it. Leave it out a bit more slack. So I've just spent the last 20 minutes on top of a sand dune watching the sunset and what what a place. Totally in love with it. Um, it's just it's just beautiful. Oh, words. And this this won't do it justice at all. It won't do it justice, but um, you know, it's not often you'll get to come to a place like this, experience it, and I feel very, um, very privileged that I can do this, um, and I have done it, and it's gone so, so well. Um, but yeah, that's the Sahara, well, so that's the Sahara, right the Sahara. you know, we're camping right in the middle, so base here next to this tree um, there's actually still stuff going on there's still quad bike tours just coming around you see the lights come around but what a place um, but yeah I feel, I feel really comfortable to be here um, you know it's beautiful I'm with a great group of people and it's just been so good that's why I don't want to come home But yeah, we're gonna set up, I mean, we've set up camp already. Um, so I haven't really filmed since Curtis got stuck. Um, but yeah, it's a case of, I'm just gonna cook myself some dinner, chill out, light a fire, have a beer, and uh, have a wonderful night's rest. Um, so yeah, we're gonna um, hit the tunes tomorrow, and I think camp, back here tomorrow night as well so we're just going to do a bit of a loop round um we're going to start off in the morning doing a bit of a, a lesson in the sand as such but yeah there you go i'll um i'll switch the camera off for this evening and uh catch up with you in the morning <coughs> So, it's the morning of day eight. Welcome back. This is what we've woken up to. Um, so yeah, we are first camp in the desert and it's beautiful. 
um, even got <laughs> some fresh bread delivered this morning. Curtis is taking the mic because I just posted something on Instagram saying complete silence and my car's now running. I've Fucking broken the stuff. <laughs> I've broken the silence. <clears throat> Again, reason being is because I haven't got the leisure battery put in, so I have to run my uh, car to run my fridge. So it only loses a few degrees overnight, but it completely breaks all fucking silence of anywhere. As peaceful as it can be, you've then got the sound of a TDV6 um, ticking over. So anyway, <clears throat> so today will consist of heading out there. So we're going to do, um, we're going to do um, a bit of a tour of the desert today, a um, bit of uh, training in the sand, especially for Curtis after yesterday, but now nah, he's, he's fine. He knows the concept of it. Um, just got overexcited last night. So, um, but yeah, we're going to see um, the difference between in the morning sand is um, a bit more compact where it was cold overnight um, you'll see actually now the color is a lot whiter uh, in the morning come this afternoon this evening it'll be a lot more orange um, so it just it changes colors with the shadows and everything like that so um, but yeah so we're gonna do a, a, a big tour of the desert today back here or roughly here tonight um, for another camp probably will come back here because it's a really cool spot um, obviously surrounded by dunes here not that it gets windy as soon as the night falls the wind goes um, it's really weird but as soon as it gets dark there's no wind um, but then we'll be heading uh, southwest um, tomorrow through the desert again away from civilization um, tomorrow heading down towards Zagora so we are not far from the Algerian border here um, which is the only thing we've got to be careful of because uh, we don't want to get too close because they don't like it <clears throat> obviously you're not going through a border control oh look it's a little beetle not doing much looks like he's trying to dig something out of the sand um, but yeah so there you go, there's another one. They pick up all this dung, look. I really want to see one, like, rolling up a dung ball. But anyway, camp's good. Um, it did start to get a little bit cold um, about four o'clock this morning when I had to wake up for a wee. Um, but it was fine. So, um, yeah, apart from that, we're pretty much ready to go so um we're just a bit of a slow start a bit of a leisurely day today which is great gonna have a little bit of sort of breakfast slash brunch uh, it's about 10 o'clock here now and then we're going to hit some dunes so this is <coughs> the fresh moroccan bread that um some of the locals came up to us last night and said would you like some fresh bread in the morning and they've delivered it so i've just um cut some bits off here just look how soft it is well you probably can't tell on the camera um but i'm just going to make some toast um make some toast this morning okay did you get any bread no missing out mate okay. you're missing out it's good it's very good but um yeah, we got like six loaves of these. Um, and they're like, one of these loaves is like 50p. So it's baked fresh this morning. So I'm gonna have some marmalade on toast. That's what we want. And that will start me off for a day in there. Oh, you can see, look, people are already doing quad bike tours. And see this, so this one here, there were people last night queuing all the way up there and they were doing a bit of a hill climb um, on a couple of quads. It wasn't like a big thing, but the main thing, people were surfing down there, um, which is really cool. I've seen that like online before, 
never seen anyone actually do it so but we're gonna head out between those two there um, and go up around the back and we'll probably come out that side hopefully if my navigating is correct um, but you know what we do in the desert with an iPhone we drop a pin here and we can always come back so no uh, navigating with the stars or whatever well it's daylight anyway but but yeah so be a good day today once I get my toast in me we're uh, good to go but I'm not gonna lie Moroccan toast with butter and marmalade a bit thin it's not as good as English bread Mm. I mean in this format being toasted and marmaladed for most other things it's better but what have you anyone else had toast and marmalade with that in the background so sent the other two off for a play Curtis is definitely having fun um, just while I finish packing up um, because I've had a real lazy morning and uh yeah i'm a bit behind so i've obviously got the most to pack up out of everyone but i'm nearly there probably another 10 minutes and then um we'll head out to the dunes that's curtis trying to rock crawl a sand dune he will learn I promise but yeah so nice little spot here i love it leave no trace even out in the desert but uh Let's get packed up. Head out there. Right. Time to go. see them up on the hillside over there so obviously the main downside you got with the uh, so I think they're up here looking over control is uh, just almost backing off the power it is in sand mode but uh, yeah that's them up there I can see Jack's car with his roof rack let's head up there I'm going to turn the traction control off leave it in sand mode see what happens really really feel the weight now on this terrain so it's all just about momentum let's get up there
So, reunited with them. That was about this for a viewpoint. So, these guys are on a quad bike tour. And that is the local town. We're about halfway up. But, we're gonna have some serious fun today. So we're heading down there, around the back. Oh yes. So, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Go on then. So I've had to make Curtis sign a disclaimer this morning, but he wants to go up that. And to be honest, I don't think he's got the speed, but we'll see how he does. I can hear the turbo going already. <laughs> oh my, that's so funny. <laughs> Just, is he in low? Oh, he's in high. Oh, he's in high. Oh, he's got to do the downshift. He's never going to do that. <laughs> he's never going to do that. Oh, he, especially from there. You've got the whole quad bike tour watching him. Literally. Clouds are smoke. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> we need, to, I don't know if he's ever going to sort of get the fact that he needs speed. He needs speed. He needs speed. <laughs> and it's one thing, especially a Discovery One, hasn't got. Mine, mine wouldn't. Not, I don't think yours would get up there. What's he doing? He started in like third. <laughs> I love. I'm just gonna let him try all day. Oh yeah. This is like when you drop your kid off to one of those this play is, zones. What, what this is is a crash, right? This it is. is. It, crash, it's right? a crash for. We just, we just Childish adults, it's great. And the sand dune, we'll leave him there all day. It'll be absolutely Literally, fun. as long as he's got a tank of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't. You probably can't tell how steep this is, but there you go. Yeah, tell him to try and come up this one. He's still not going to do it, Curtis. He's in low range now. I can tell that from the gears. Right, he's still not up to where he was last time. He is now, and <laughs> that's where he's got again. <laughs> Same place. <laughs> right, let's see if we can make him do this one. So he did attempt for this one, and actually that one wasn't too bad, but what he doesn't realize is that those marks already there are actually people surfing down the dune, so. We've told him to try this one. <clears throat> this one is way steeper than it looks. He's even got the local guy video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the locals <laughs> here. They're loving it. More speed! More speed! Oh. <laughs> so that was a bit of a... That was a bit of a... Uh, he kind of just hit into the bank there. So he's chosen the sort of sharpest bit of the valley. Well, that's true. So the locals are saying go down to like 5 PSI. He's currently at 12. And uh, they'll be right, to be fair, but Trouble is, if we, make, if we make his truck too good, he'll be trying everything. Yeah. <clears throat> bit more speed, bit more speed. Go on, wind it up. There we go, there we go. No, it's wrong gear, wrong gear, wrong gear. It's a lot smoother though. Yeah. He needs to take that line, but more speed. I don't reckon he's backing out, do you? Yeah, I think he's letting off too early. Well, no, I mean like of trying this one. I reckon he's giving up on this one. I don't know. I know Curtis's face when he goes. Oh, I'm skeptical about that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh, he is. What a shame. 
Well, let's go get some fuel and yeah. then we can come back and let tyre pressure down properly. Yeah, because this local is trying to give us a tour and we don't want it. Um, but look, completely standard LC120 <coughs> on, on road tyres. And they just full hand, full speed. There's no way. You would have done that. To, yeah, but to get the speed, I kid you not, it feels like you're committing suicide. There's a vertical wall <laughs> and you're having to pin it straight at it. It's like, look, you see the first one? I hit yeah, it. Yeah, I, like, oh, I know. I'm, I'm surprised your hazard lights didn't go off. That's gonna, that Car thought you had a crash. Any and all speed. That's a bit got too steep of a. Yeah, it's a good job you haven't got an airbag because that probably would have gone off yeah. in your face. Yeah, it would have gone off for sure. But. <laughs> you, could, you could do it on this side. I reckon down here. You run round and have a look at that. Yeah. It's literally like driving out a vertical wall. I know, I know. Oh, funny. <laughs> look, what's your old mate in the Prado? He's just... Yeah, road tyres. Yeah, the ones that we've got last night. They're deflated either. They are, yeah. They're road tires. They are, yeah. They're running about 15 PSI, but they just full chat everywhere. And they don't try this kind of stuff. They no, go I round dunes. Sort of no, yeah, they, they, the they don't try it. They leave it for their like LS3 built buggies yeah, for that. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, what we're gonna do? Get some fuel. Get some fuel. Yeah, wicked. Let's go. <clears throat> One more look at the view. Oh. oh, so we're just coming to fill up with fuel. Some cool shit here. So it's buggies, bikes. Quad bike there, another motorbike, sport truck over there, all coming from Spain. So I've got still over a quarter, still averaging 25. Kurt. Curtis is really going for it now. He's getting very brave. His new motto is flat out, which actually is right here. But like we said earlier, he's like a kid in a crash. This is a case of just pick your own line. Wherever you want to drive, you can drive. It doesn't matter.
beating the D1 up the hill. It's like this. That is a steep dune and you lose where the front wheels are. See how it's all just ploughing the sand at the front. Nicely done Jack. Right, I'm going to see if I can get back up here. Oh here comes a local. Not giving a shit. He's going to ask me for if I want a tour now. Yeah. Fuck off. Hey! He thought I bet that is running hot right now. <laughs> so we've been up here, put it this way, I've got the awning out, Jack's got all his cooking <laughs> stuff out, everything, whilst Curtis has been trying to get up this hill. Bless him, it just hasn't quite got the power, has it, the little donkey? I admit, I don't like 300 TDIs. <laughs> Mate, you would have had the same problem with a TD5. As soon as you drop off the turbo, that's it. It's it's gone. But it's quite steep this hill. But we've had the locals over there laughing. Some people on the dunes up there, which are finally leaving. Um, but it was a good effort. You're not a quitter, I have to say. No. <laughs> no, I'm getting but, up now. It's just learning the hill. Yeah, like, it's it's not. You you've done everything right apart from. You, your truck hasn't got the power. That's it. Power. Whereas so that last one was just full flat. Jack absolutely sung up here, probably in third. Yeah, mate, I was half so I should have been a sweat. Yeah, like six, seven thousand RPM. To be fair, mine come up pretty easy. Low range third, just sung it up here. But uh, bless it, it's just too small a power band on that thing. But uh, doesn't help with the gearing and stuff. But that's built for like crawling and technical stuff not not quite this but uh yeah what a spot for lunch so lunch today is laughing cow cheese and tomato sandwich i may put some salad cream in it Steady on, mate. Steady on, mate. do you reckon that's a bit gourmet that is some serious gourmet shit yeah on this no, fresh cream cheese and salad cream. normal cheese and salad cream cream cheese in itself is enough you have rice, baked beans, and raw <laughs> onion. This is down the way. No, you won't. Rice, baked beans, and raw onion as a meal. You can't tell me mixing cream cheese and salad cream is a bad thing. But, don't know. I'm going to try that and see how I get halfway through. This stuff's the tits. That's, well, that's a tomato. You don't get these in England anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a rarity. Oh. That's like a trophy. Uh, Maud has made gnocchi yeah. uh, and salad and pesto and it's all very nice and way more than I can be bothered to do. So we've got some locals joined us. Say hello. 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 Good. Um, so yeah, it's pretty beautiful up here. Oh, see how this goes. Quarter loaf of bread, it's really good. Oh, it's no, good. that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. It was a case of I made lunch and you went, oh, I'm getting peckish now. And then you went and got. So I was going to have a little nibble of bologna. <clears throat> yeah, but you had all the ingredients to make a sandwich and no bread. And actually, it was Jack that suggested bread. I just had a cut piece. So it's your own fault. Broke me into it. Well, it's your fault, Jack. <clears throat> You're a bad influence. And then you had a flipping chocolate bar. You can't say no to chocolate, especially if it's out of the fridge. Right. You made the mistake of laying backwards in the sand without a seashell. Oh shit, yeah, your back is. Mistakes. A bed to be made. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in a food coma? <laughs> He's close to. It's going to be itchy for the rest of the week. Yeah, that's going to be all down your pants. You're going to have a gritty bum hole. 
get in there real deep. <laughs> <laughs> The worst part is I've already referred to Jack and Maud as mum and dad, so I'm not sure if you. I do feel like we're babysitting. He's even undone his belt, look. That's because I've put on so much weight since I've fucking been here. It doesn't fucking fit me anymore. Oh dear. Need a poo again. Uh, right, I might switch the camera off now. <laughs> YouTube don't want to hear this. If there's a man that's just enjoying life right now, it's an Englishman in the desert who's just eaten some Fruit very... Tours, highly recommended. There you go, see? <laughs> we aim to please. <laughs> Smoking his bag, laying on his back. You really fit in here. I don't think you should come home. There's no such thing as a driveway around here, mate. No. No, and landscape. I've been on the road for another month or so, but I just couldn't handle the border crossing alone. Landscaping is really not needed. So, here he comes. You can see where I've just come down and I've tried to get back up. That's the furthest I got. There he goes. It is so steep, that. Way steeper than it looks. Nicely done. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the car does that. Easier to go down, isn't it? When in the Sahara, you do it wherever you are. I bet he's writing his name. Bless him. As for the other hand, I was taking this photo, but now Curtis has got in the background and he loves it. But yeah, so we're back at this camp spot because we loved it. June's in the background. We're going to do another night here. Um, Got a bit of a surprise for five o'clock. Um, so um, it's half past three now. So we're going to set up camp, hour and a half, and then um, yeah, five o'clock. Got a little surprise happening um, from here. So it should be really good. And you'll have to wait and see what it is. Mind you, you won't have to wait very long because we'll probably just pop it in in a couple of clips' time. Yeah, when Curtis is done, I want to finish taking some photographs. So, said we got a surprise at five o'clock, just on time. Poor camels, we're going up into the dunes to watch the sunset. To be honest with you, I'd rather have a packet of 20 camels. <laughs> yeah, this, is why, this is why Kevin's not coming. <laughs> He's done it a million and one times. But oh, it's all good, it's all good. It's I hope one good. of those camel balls is big enough to take it, my weight. It's all good. Do you reckon they've got a weight limit? And everything? Well, I don't know. Do you reckon 19 stone on the back of one of them is going to work? Well, looking at your tyres, I think you definitely your tyres have got a weight limit with you in it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think that's what's overdone it. <laughs> look at him. The little one on the back, I think, is for Curtis. I think the front one's for Doesn't look like him. Is it not overdone? If his name's Mahat. He just looked at him, look. Yeah, just look 
That's cool. It just literally tells them to sit like you would with a dog. There we go. <laughs> he's number eight. Yeah, he's he got man is on the number eight dog. They got racing numbers. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm going to go for the uh, no, number two dog and number eight dog. <laughs> what first up the June? Yeah, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go each way on that. So it's eight and two, two and eight each way. Maud, you excited? I am excited. Jack, you excited? Yes. Curtis, <laughs> you look like you've ridden one all your life. <laughs> Come on, we're going to take some I'm beers. A mechanical camel kind of guy. Yeah. So if it was the camel camel trophy. Well, that's what I just said to him. I'd rather have a packet of twenty cans. <laughs> the one that's look. They're all looking at me, going, "Please, not him." Be the leader. She's the light one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is he putting the thing here? Hang on, Gary Glitter said he was the leader, so I wouldn't go that far. I can't put this on YouTube now. <laughs> yeah. He did say he was the leader. You ruined it. I... But, no, but that's just a song. <laughs> no, actually, that one got assigned to Maul. <laughs> I'm trying to record for YouTube and he's talking about Gary Glitter. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was all I was saying. And if you put it as not for children, you'll be fine. Well, he was for children. Oh, I just, <laughs> no, sorry. Just stop. I just stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> This must be like what it's it's like having an electric car. <laughs> the, the lush sound of a TDV6, you mean? Yeah. Actually, all I've really heard today is a 300 TDI struggling to go up hills. Maud, how are you? I'm very good. How's thanks. your head scarf? Uh, Falling off? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you just tie it in a knot. Just wrap it, wrap it round your neck as a scarf. It'll be fine. So, which dune do you reckon we're going up, guys? Is that big one? It's got to be in it. So this guy's walking on foot the whole way. Good lad, you've you've worked more than hard enough. Taking my weight, I have to say. I want to call you Roger. Hmm? Good lad. Good lad. Oh, this one stood up. There we go. Thatcher's can holder. Cheers. This is pretty beautiful, isn't it? Not bad. Okay. <laughs> 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 my feet. You are one of them now. <laughs> oh, we're going up this way. I'm gonna, all I'm going to be filming now is us out of breath. <laughs> Very hard to walk on. So the camels apparently could only go that far because of the hills. So we've got to walk the rest. Didn't expect this, I'm honest. It was a big exercise because it didn't. Well, yeah, this is true. I mean, it's the first bit of exercise this whole trip, isn't it? Is it? 
day eight. Curtis is having been having 17 meals a day as well. <laughs> yeah, but think your your 300 TDI was about as breathless as us as well. <laughs> there they are. Look at them. Parked up. Put a ticket in the window. They'll be good for a couple of hours. Wait for this baby to go down. On a quad bike tour. If they just ride to the top, I'll be pissed off. No way. Good, I'm glad. I thought they were going to ride to the top then, and in which case I would have felt awful. And there we go. Beautiful. What a moment. Just walking back now. <clears throat> Absolutely surreal. Right, mate? His, his breath isn't very good. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy, holy shit. Right, look at that. Now we've got a sunset on the camels. There we are. How, actually, do you know what? For once, the sunset looks as beautiful on camera as it does in real life. But my sunglasses are definitely not polarised, they're cheap Chinese ones, unfortunately. But you can see there's multiple quad bike groups and buggies still at the top. They all come up, watch the sunset. But stunning. So we're heading back to camp now. Maud's camels like spunked all over me. Like, look, yeah. and he's he's even done it on my leg. It's like he's pulled out on me. But anyway, so I'm covered in camel's spit. He's frothing at the mouth, and um, I've got sunburn, but only on one side. That Jack's just pointed out. So. Oh, it's been a great trip. I think we can leave it here, to be honest. <laughs> These camels aren't very comfortable. <laughs> if I'm honest, I currently feel like the female in a relationship. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's nowhere to put your legs. So you're literally just... Yeah, that's, that's... You're riding on your gooch, aren't you? That's the only way I can explain it. But... It's not so bad on the flat, but when we're going up or down a dune, it, uh, it's a bit hairy. Thank God we've got the handles. Where's my can of cider gone? Ah, oh, it's fallen out. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, the, the Thatcher's haze holder wasn't actually that great. So if you're watching this and you found one in the desert, enjoy it. It was on me. But anyway. Might be a bit warm. Yeah, it might be. Well, unless it digs in and then it's freezing. Anyway, let's get back to camp, cook some dinner. Oh, I've just about had enough. I've done far too much exercise for this year. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna still have my dinner yet before we get start. It gets dark really quickly here. Well, let me turn the camera around because you don't want to look at me. <laughs> I can assure you. <laughs> I can assure you, I am not comfortable. But anyway. 
supposed to be like people that do YouTube and stuff are supposed to like dull themselves up and look all glamorous. Don't I think they see the worst of me, if I'm honest. They see me every morning without a shower or a shave, which I really need right now because they've got ginger pubes all over my face. And they haven't they haven't seen my <laughs> see downhill is not good yeah they haven't seen my jump yet so <laughs> man did some photos and uh, we all had to jump and Maud instead of taking photos she recorded me doing the whole thing including the first time when he said he wasn't ready so let's do it again um but yes it's very funny and maybe I'll include it who knows <laughs> My arm hurts now, I can't hold my phone up, so goodbye. <laughs> so, this is what Maud's camel has done to me. Thank you, Roger. You've been really good. You're the bestest camel ever. Aren't you? I like you. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that good? Yeah, is that good? Mm. There we go. And we climb right to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, 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 y